On Tuesday, October 10th, a parent called the Sheriff's Department, who then notified EMS of a concerning post on social media. As you all know, we did have a, a recent uh, incident where we had some, some posts that were made on social media that um, many, would cons many would feel is very concerning. Well, law enforcement actually took it upon themselves to contact us and um, in getting a phone call from my supervisor first thing in the morning as students were actually walking into the building and being informed that there was some sort of social media threat, um, they took it very seriously, acted very quickly, and truly it was a textbook response. The students in question told law enforcement the post consisted of song lyrics they had written. Um, anytime we have situations like that, like in this situation, we had a, a student that allegedly was um, creating some song lyrics, but the lyrics in the song were talking about things that many interpreted as a possible school violence threat. Um, that post was sent to another person with those lyrics, which then in turn that student sent out in another post to a, several, to a group of other students. TCAP Superintendent Paul Soma says the district reacts swiftly in situations where a threat is made. So the first thing that we do, we, we hope that people let us know that it's happening. The sooner we're, we know, the, the better. And we get the police involved right away. Um, it's, we don't have the capabilities, the police do, to assess whether a threat is real or I, I hate to even say, sometimes people think they're joking around and, and it's really nothing to joke about. We take every single one of them very seriously uh, and so we get the police involved right away and then they, they come in and assess whether there's, there's something to be worried about or not. As far as what law enforcement does in this, um, no matter whether you're dealing with the sheriff's department, city police, state police, any time that we have any type of concern that may be a, a school violence threats complaint, we take those to the end. Um, even if, like in this case, there were no targeted threats, um, there weren't any students' names, teachers' names, a particular school that was um, in the social media post, even though that's the case, we take all these complaints very seriously. Students said the situation was handled very well. I feel like the people that the staff worked really hard to like calm everyone down before it could actually get like serious to most people. I think the social media situation was handled well because the we weren't allowed to leave the classrooms and the teachers and administrators here took all the precautions to keep the students safe. TCAP's board policy states that students who make threats will face suspension or expulsion as potential consequences for their actions. Each, each circumstance has to be looked at on its own merits. Um, there are some things within the law that are mandatory expulsions, um, and then there's some that are more judgment. The administration stresses the importance of responsible social media use. There is no room to joke around, especially in the light, uh, in the times that we live, where um, you don't really know if there's a credible threat or not until um, an investigation can be done. And so to even joke about something, it's not funny. And it could lead you into some very serious trouble. This has been Aiden and Dan reporting for Trojan TV.